So many deals going down. So many clubs always leave it late. This is what they do to us. But do you know what? We're used to it. We knew this was going to be like this tonight. And the final hour will be pretty chaotic. One big deal has really caught the attention in the last uh, half an hour or so. He arrived in Glasgow earlier on today. He's been kept away from the fans. But in the last 20 to 25 minutes, he was paraded in front of them. And he has just walked out the front door of Ibrox State. Stadium in the south side of Glasgow. Aaron Ramsey's somewhat shock move to Rangers. Well, it shocked us, Alex Crook. What do you make of this one? Absolutely sensational, Jim. I think if you told me this morning uh, that come lunchtime we'd be talking about a possible move for Aaron Ramsey former Arsenal player from Juventus to Rangers. And I thought you were mad, quite <laughs> frankly. And the finance is really intriguing because we understand at Talk Sport uh, Juventus paying the bulk of Aaron Ramsey's salary. We know that's 400 thousand pound a week he was on in Turin. Clearly that would smash Rangers pay structure. They haven't done that. They've negotiated quite a savvy deal from a Rangers perspective. And what a potential derby uh, debut I should say as well in that old firm derby. <laughs> Celtic <laughs> against Rangers. Welcome to the SPL Aaron Ramsey. Surely that's going to be beyond him. I mean that's been his problem at Juventus is getting game time. Uh, and obviously if he was to be thrust into that across the city at Celtic Park then the pace of it might set him back somewhat. But uh, a whole bunch bunch of comments coming out uh, of this story tonight, not least from uh, Ramsey himself. He says, I'm really pleased to be joining a club uh, right, r like Rangers. He said, I had a number of offers on the table, but none matched the magnitude of this club with European football and the chance to play in front of 50,000 fans every other week. That was the lure. That was why he came tonight. The, the, the chance of playing European football and 50,000 fans every other week. That's why he wanted to go to Rangers Alley. And if they win the league, and at the moment you'd have to say the signing of Ramsey might just give them the edge uh, over Celtic. I know Celtic fans won't thank me for saying that. That means <laughs> guaranteed qualification for the Champions League group stage next season. Every chance that Aaron Ramsey's uh, loan move will be made permanent. And the other fascinating element to it is, of course, he's going to be part of the Wales side that will be looking to stop Scotland, your beloved Scotland, Jim, yep. qualifying for the World Cup. Every chance it could be Scotland against Wales in a World Cup player final. Aaron Ramsey getting fit for that game by playing for a team in Scotland. They you go. Aaron, if you're listening, you could go from hero to villain in a very short space of time. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier the significance of some of the comments we've been hearing tonight. The sporting director at Rangers, Ross Wilson, he has revealed that he's been working in this for a, a, a reasonable period of time, but he says, I am thankful to Juventus for their professional approach and discretion in this one, Alex. And he says, Juventus and Aaron had many significant offers from elsewhere. We are delighted that he has chosen Rangers. So that's significant. He wants to thank Juventus for the way they bent and flexed during the deal. And that backs up the information that we have that Juventus willing to pay the bulk of his wages. I was told a couple of weeks ago when there was Premier League interest from the likes of Burnley uh, and Crystal Palace, Patrick Vieira, Arsenal legend, of course, in Aaron Ramsey, that there was every chance he would stay in Turin because there were some financial issues. He was owed certain bonus payments uh, by Juventus. What I would imagine has happened is that they've waived those uh, uh, bonus payments in return for Juventus yeah. paying the wages so that Ramsey can go out and play football. I think the Burnley interest was still there. But to be quite frank, Jim, if you, if you have the opportunity to come back to the Premier League with Burnley or to go and play at Ibrox, I've been there with you, fantastic historical stadium, you're going to go to Rangers. That's right. That's right. And I'm glad you said that because so many people down south of the border think, why is he going to Scottish football? He's going to one of the big two uh, in Scotland. Again, uh, a, a co another comment that stands out tonight from Ross Wilson, uh, the sporting director at Rangers. He says this, any agreement we reach has to be within our normal wage model. And Aaron's desire to play here has enabled us to achieve this with Juventus's cooperation. So in other words, Alex, you know, and I know what that means. This is what we explained regards our wage structure. If he can fit somehow with inside it, then we've got a deal. If he can't, deal's off. Well, Ramsey has said, yeah, let's do it. Yep, deal done. Only played 112 minutes for Juventus this season. He'll be desperate to clock up more minutes before those World Cup playoffs uh, in March. I think it's going to be fascinating to see how this one pans out. And here we are now, 50 minutes away from the 11 o'clock deadline. Still 
deals to be done. Uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, will he get his move to Barcelona? A free transfer, TalkSport understands, taking a significant pay cut to end his Arsenal career, but the clock is ticking. Uh, Jean-Philippe Mateta, he's just been confirmed as a permanent signing at Crystal Palace, a okay. cut price, £8 yeah. million pound move. And Fabio Carvalho, will he get his dream move from Fulham to Liverpool? Again, they've got 50 minutes, they've just agreed a fee with Fulham. Can Liverpool get that deal done? Still plenty to be done on this deadline night. Plenty to be done, Alex. We're right across a lot. But the one that really has taken the fancy, certainly of Rangers supporters tonight, is uh, Aaron Ramsey in at Rangers. Super Ali McCoy will be on breakfast tomorrow with Laura in the morning, but he stayed up late for us. Ali McCoy, good evening. Ramsey to Rangers, what do you make of it? Window now, Jim. Absolutely delighted with that, mate. Absolutely thrilled. It's a great move. I mean, could you could you have seen this coming, uh, Ali, to be honest? Because we heard Ramsey that, yeah, there was a chance he was coming back, but that was to the Premier League in England. Rangers have, have suddenly loomed out of the woodwork and they've got their man. Jim, I, I've got to be honest, mate. It was a surprise, albeit a very, very pleasant one. I thought he'd have gone back to the Premier League, but um, it's from Rangers, Jim. Make no mistake about it. It's a massive statement. And I know for a fact the whole is buzzing, you can imagine. Oh yeah, they're all outside the stadium as we speak. Uh, so many Rangers fans have gathered. You know what this reminds me of, Ali? You probably know what I'm going to say here. Gascoigne to Rangers when the late great I Walter do. Smith yep. secured his signature. That you know, it b- brings back memories of that, doesn't it? Hey, mate. Was, and I'll say half a so as Gaza will be absolutely. But I've seen the the the, the out of the stadium. The fans are going crazy. My own boys are going crazy. They've been on the phone to me. It's, I'm actually buzzing myself. It's a great move, a great item for the club. Okay, listen, Ali, terrific stuff. Having problems with Ali's line, but if we get back to him, we get back to him. What do you think of this one? Rangers fans, are you delighted uh, that Ramsey is in the door tonight and will be on loan with the football club until the end of the season? What can he do in his time on loan at Rangers? 03717 Are you concerned that he hasn't had enough game time at Juventus? He's hardly played, as Alex Crook explained there. Now he's coming and will want to play. Will want game time with Rangers. 037 one seven double two double three double four, and remember so much to get through Alex while you and I were talking to, to Alan McCoy say, anything else finalised Obama Yang nothing new on that yet not yet Jim I mean this this has been another intriguing story today because around about lunchtime uh, that deal looked off we were making comparisons between uh, Pierre Emerick Obama Yang and, and Peter Odinwingi I guess Obama Yang uh, trumped <laughs> Odinwingi Odinwingi uh, all those years ago and he turned up in his car at Queen's Park Range Obama Yang flew to Barcelona to try and get this uh, move away from Arsenal but it was off the two clubs couldn't agree a loan move now all of a sudden it's a permanent move with Aubameyang uh, taking that significant pay cut where does it leave Arsenal though Jim only two recognised strikers now because of course they let Balogun go out and loan to Middlesbrough early in the window Lacazette uh, and Nketiah is that enough Arsenal fans in terms of their top four aspirations and the other deal that we're waiting on and this one uh, also came out of nowhere we were the first to break it on Talk Sport, on your show, uh, alongside Simon Jordan, around about midday, Delhi Alley to Everton. And this is yeah. another uh, really innovative deal that Tottenham have struck with Everton. It will be a permanent transfer, no money to be paid up front, £10 million once he's played 20 games. He won't do that this season because they've only got 18 league games left and he's cup-tied uh, in terms of the FA Cup. But it could rise, we're told, to as much as 30 or £40 million pounds because of the add-ons that Daniel Levy uh, has put into the contract. Not the only departure at Delhi Alley from Tottenham by any stretch of the imagination. Tango and Dombalai, uh, who I think is still making his way off the pitch half that FA Cup substitution <laughs> against Morecambe. Yes. He's joined Leon on loan with a view to a 65 million euro uh, permanent deal in the summer. Giovanni Lo Celso on loan from Tottenham to Villarreal and Brian Hill from Tottenham to Valencia on loan. So Spurs uh, doing business in terms of outgoings, but doing business in terms of incomings as well. Two signings, both from Juventus, a club, of course, their sporting director, uh, Fabio Paratici, knows like the back of his hand. And they are Dejan Kulusevski, uh, the Swedish winger. He's on loan with a view to a permanent deal. 
deal. And Rodrigo Bentoncourt, uh, Spurs pouncing where Aston Villa couldn't. Twenty-one point five million that that fee could rise to. He has also arrived at Tottenham from Juventus on this deadline day. Alex, that was such a good point you made. Uh, Aubameyang in at Barcelona yet to be confirmed, but wh- where does that leave Arsenal? As you rightly said, uh, two people up front in Ketia, Lacazette. Is that going to be enough? A lot of Arsenal fans saying, "Are you kidding us?" Of course, it's not enough. So the headlines at this stage in the proceedings as it uh, approaches quarter past 10 we're into the final hour 45 minutes to go uh, in this window Aaron Ramsey back in British football but not in England in Scotland he has joined Rangers Deli Alley yet to be confirmed at Everton Dan Byrne yet to be confirmed at Newcastle Alex what have you got? Really interesting, Jim. Just a, literally a, a couple of minutes ago, a picture of uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang trying to cover his face, leaving Barcelona Hospital in the back of a car, having passed his medical check. So all that remains now is for him to sign on the bottom line. Barcelona didn't want this image released to the media, but it's out there on deadline, deadline night. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang inching closer to leaving Arsenal, ending his career in the Premier League under somewhat of a cloud, it has to be said, and joining Barcelona. 